This is Janilata Bhattrai from Single World News. The Pentagon plans to boost manufacturing of 155mm artillery shells sixfold within the next two years. The U.S. Department of Defense is reportedly planning to undergo its most aggressive modernization effort in nearly 40 years, according to an Army report, as the Pentagon aims to boost weapons production for Ukraine. The effort will apparently include the expansion of factories and the engagement of new producers in order to achieve a 500% boost in artillery shell production within the two years. A news outlet claims it's noted that such a move would push conventional ammunition production to levels not seen since the Korean War in the early 1950s. Before Russia launched its ongoing military operation in Ukraine in late February last year, the U.S. Army was producing some 14,400 artillery shells a month. However, with Kyiv demanding more weapons and ammunition from Washington and its allies, the Pentagon tripled production goals last September and then doubled them in January and is now producing as many as 90,000 shells per month. The report states that the Department of Defense intends to spend roughly $1 billion a year for the next 15 years to modernize government-owned ordnance production facilities, increasing automation and the capacity to produce ammunition more quickly. In previous conflicts, we had stockpiles that were sufficient for the conflict, the Army's top acquisition official told Douglas R. Bushing. In this case, we are seeking to increase production to maintain both stockpile for some other contingency, but also supply an ally. Russia, meanwhile, has continued to insist that the deliveries of Western weapons to Ukraine only serves to prolong the conflict and will ultimately fail to have a significant effects on its outcome. Russian ambassador to the US, Anatoly Antonov, has stated that such a move would constitute a blatant provocation against Moscow and warned that the tanks as well as any other NATO military equipment sent to Ukraine without any doubt will be destroyed. Will this move by US government potentially lead to World War III or at least prolong the conflict and lead to more destruction of life and property? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel. Please press the bell icon to receive the latest notifications.